Oh my God, it is truly nice to be back. Back on stage, back in Melbourne. I actually, I actually one of the few people that get to say it's nice to be back in Australia because I am one of the lucky people that just flew internationally. Yeah, I just got in from Perth and it's <laughs> just nice to be back on home soil. Two years of a pandemic, two years ago, I was the last sort of international flight I took, and that was to South Africa, to go into a jungle for the TV show, I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. But when I went in, they were gonna change the name to, is he a celebrity, should he be here? Uh, I had a small profile, right? And of course, they start kicking people off the show, and the bigger the profile you have, the longer you stay, because the audience picks up their phone, votes for the people they like, right? Now, I still knew that I was gonna go all the way to the end, and that's not arrogance. I just know how the game works, because it's voted by the Aussie public that these days consists of so many immigrants. <laughs> you think people from India, Sri Lanka, and Pakistan are voting for Rhonda Birchmo? Fuck no. <laughs> it's like that meme, you know? Carol's by candlelight, Curry's by candlelight. <laughs> so I knew my brethren had my back. Yeah, the brown boys. And then in the first week of elimination, I was gone, straight away, kicked out. <laughs> and my internalized racism kicked in and I was like, ah, I should have known better that my country were too busy answering the calls than fucking making any of the calls. <laughs> Brutal. I came across racism in one of the most surprising places, right? I came across racism on Tinder. This girl's profile, her biography said, hey, don't bother liking my profile if you are Indian or Chinese. And I saw that and I was like, fuck, I'm Sri Lankan, I'm fine. <laughs> I made the cut, I'm in the club. <laughs> but then I realized, hang on, there's a subtle difference between Indians and Sri Lankan. She does not know that difference. She's not walking around with the Dulux color palette, is she? She's not going up, <laughs> India, Sri Lankan, Bangladesh, Pakistan. But I appreciated her honesty. Cause she's letting me know she's a piece of shit from the get go. And I love that. <laughs> Cause you know what, she's not. How dare you interrupt my speech with claps. <laughs> Cause she's not into Indians and Chinese people. Fair enough, cause I'm not into racists <laughs> and Indians. Uh, <laughs> No, what I appreciated though is that all of us on profiles, right, we tend to lie about ourselves or rather over exaggerate. Like, we're always better on paper than we are in real life. Because on paper, like, we're all great. Like me, I know, on paper, I'm not afraid to admit it, I'm a catch. <laughs> yeah, think about it. I'm rich, intelligent, and ethnic. <laughs> That's a good combo. Oh, what a recipe. But then in real life, you find out I'm not that rich, I'm not that intelligent and ethnic. <laughs> I'm pretty white. Like, <laughs> I genuinely love butter chicken and I publicly talk about my mental health. That's some white ass shit. <laughs> so I appreciate the honesty, but that, the issue was she didn't stop there though. Her sentence said, don't bother liking my profile if you're Indian or Chinese because I am not into curry or kebabs. she got from India to curry. Sure. But what happened between China and kebabs? What kind of fucked up Kentucky tour was she on? Because if you're gonna do racism, get the stereotype right, please. She could have gone with curry and noodles, curry and dumplings, curry and an uncooked bat. Fuck it. See you in Melbourne, I'll see you at the Comedy Festival.